Hi everybody. In this video we will deal with the assembly and painting of a Gabosha, Sherman plus Panzer IV, artillery observation tank. Maybe it exists, but I have never seen a tank painted all in black. And I wanted to make one. So, I decided to plant the Sherman plus Panzer IV in a Sahago desert, where its big black quadrangular rocks would frame it beautifully. The combination of different turrets and holes always requires attention, as sometimes problems arise. In this case the whole ring has to be filed and sanded to seat the Panzer IV turret correctly. The turret sheets and brackets have been remade with aluminum sheet from a beer can. I used the ones from the kit as a template. On one side, the bracket is bent, as the sheets and has been misplaced. I added Schuertsen for the Sherman hull. I used plasticard and aluminum sheet, in this case from a cola can. For the rest of the model, I only detail the tool fasteners. Each track consists of three components. Patience, and a ruler to align its assembly. The hole gutted in parts. A simple transformation. one coat of surface primer and some modulation coats of the base black paint we cover the model with acrylic gloss varnish initial weathering is achieved with the oil dots technique To increase weathering, we add acrylic washes. Only in localized places, where we see necessary to enhance the weathering, in tiny spots, and with the paint diluted 85% with water. We superimpose several colors. Engrossed in the task, I came up and the result was too much weathering not very subtle. I lowered the contrast with a black enamel filter. In order to give some variety to the black, I left a Schuertsen arrived from the factory. It was painted with dark brown, rust chipping was added with the sponge technique, and I finished it off with ochre and burnt umber, oil dots. I painted the tracks with black and flat heart, then a wash with AK's track wash. Various pigments are applied, the usual dark washes, were not going to work very well on this black decoration, I had to do something different. I treated the matter like a photographic negative, and used ochre pigment pin washes. We dilute ochre pigment in water and deposit it in crevices, highlighting volumes, on flat surfaces. Pigment washes are used like the pin wash and, the streaking grime, we paint and blend. Pigments can be diluted in, water, alcohol and, enamel thinner. To make the right choice, it's necessary to take into account the type of paint on which the wash is applied, and the surface tensions of each liquid. Water flows less, alcohol and thinner, gallop better on surfaces, especially if they are gloss varnished. Pigment washes always give surprises, when they dry.
With a round or flat brush, slightly moistened, we blend the washes as if we were doing it, with oils or enamels. These washes can be repeated to enhance areas of the vehicle. If you apply pigment fixer the effect fades away. In the Gabo shed has not been used. The painting is finished with dry pigments. The camouflage net is from Valinden. We get volume with a roll of epoxy putty. The tie straps are obtained from a yogurt lid. No diorama, no vignette. Just a miserable base. We must take into account, the space in our house to store dioramas. And the laziness, or the rush to finish. Thus, a simple landscape for the Gabosha. The terrain is achieved with a mixture of water, PVA glue, plaster, sand and pebbles. The Sahago rocks were cut in foam, coated with a mixture of water, PVA glue and plaster. They are painted black and discolored with pigments. Weeds are mimicked with bristles of a paintbrush. Pebbles are decorated with cream, earthy and black tones. I rode the artillery sergeant with a horned head and the body with several dragon limbs. The binocular periscope is also from dragon. The, ahem, finished vignette. A small transformation, the Schuertsen of the Sherman, and the novel black decoration, were to play with weathering effects. And we have it. The cocky pose of here I am, on top of my tank in the middle of the miserable desert, gives desolation and height to the scene. It looks like it's hot in the damn Sahago deserts. A simple photo filter gives us a more weathered view of the model. We hope you liked it, and were inspired.